hello friends in this video we we see how to secure good rank in ies with a special emphasis on gs paper uh, after the pattern has been changed because i have been receiving so many mails you know uh, asking for the strategy to get into the good rank and um, if you look at the scheme of exam the upper one is the previous pattern and lower one is the present pattern and uh, previously the total number of marks are 1200 uh, but now it became 1300 and uh, previously there, there there was no prelims exam so all these uh, five exams including one gs and uh, two objective from conventional and two two objective from technical and two conventional papers together conducted at the same time but whereas in the new pattern the first two exams that is a gs1 and uh, the technical object to conducted initially and those who ever clear these would be allowed for the appearing in the mains examination and why all of a sudden it became very vital here why because previously there is no prelim stage and uh, when there is no prelim stage uh, the paper one he haven't played any vital role of course it played a vital role even then also because whenever or whoever used to get a good marks in paper one they always used to get secure very good ranks very top ranks in the ies exam but here it became much more vital because without clearing the prelims itself no one is allowed for uh, you know uh, appearing in the mains examination in that way it became much more vital these days after the pattern has been changed and um, a cutoff is dependent more on the p1 also there is a special mention in the upsc notification like you know of from each topic only 5 to 15 percent questions will be asked so that uh, all these 10 topics will be covered you know reasonably and uh, i just plotted you know one column chart and pie chart and if you observe this pie chart the maximum amount of questions asked is 15 percent but here if you observe as he mentioned in the notification it's a uh, in between 5 to 15 percent i categorize these uh, 10 topics here what we need to focus is you know getting uh, now uh, smarter to secure more marks so i categorize these topics into static dynamic and uh, mass I am calling dynamic here because these three topics are mainly dependent on the current affairs. So static subjects means these are all standard one and uh, irrespective of you know passing years or the current affairs or whatever happening. So these are all always you know asked from the same test book or any standard book. We need to secure approximately 150 to 160 marks in the GS paper. So let's say we secured 20% in the mass in stock 24. That's very much possible actually. So mass, you know, if you look into the mass, it's very easier. And uh, here, uh, let's say here also in a dynamic subject, uh, we secure 20%. So altogether 40%. And uh, here, let's say out of 46% in the static subject, we secured only 30%. So altogether how much it become? 70%. So 70% of 200 almost become 140. So 140 is the average score. So, so it's a very easy to get a uh, average score if you if you focus you know individually instead of you know blindly reading uh, all the redundant topics if i take dynamic subject first one is the current issues so this in the, in this current issues this year approximately some you know um, five to six questions have been asked out of this most of the questions are you know current affairs based like you know uh, reforms in the railway reforms in the railways gst because gsb gsd is in, in very much in the news so they ask gst also and the rotterdam convention and all so apart from and digital india because uh, our honorable prime minister has been you know, advocating for the digital india very much mm, so all these been asked in this under current issues and uh, from this what we can infer is See, most of the time, as soon as we, uh, you know, uh, think about general studies, we, you know, blindly go, go for reading, you know, a whole book of Lakshmi Khan for quality or, um, you know, or some other book for, you know, say, um, um, economics. So, we unnecessarily spending a lot of energies and efforts on, uh, you know, covering those topics which are not being asked here. So, instead, uh, his main focus on the current issues. And uh, environment, what they did is first, 
knowing about the different types of wastages wastages produced by different types of industries that's what first we need to you know understand because as a engineer that's a and as an engineer and a, as a you know um, officer we need to you know uh, know about this one and uh, after knowing that different government initiative to, to tackle those uh, wastage control and all and apart from that when i say energy now not only india throughout the world the traditional way of energy production has been changing drastically so how it's uh, changing so because uh, no solar energy is uh, no uh, playing a vital role and it became a forefront of uh, leading this uh, um, march so we need to know uh, what are the happenings in the new technology like solar energy or uh, nuclear energy and all those uh, related issues so and if you come to it this is a purely current affairs based so here in uh, it we have a uh, you know uh, incorporation of uh, it information technology in the delivering the delivering the services in a effective manner and uh, again i am repeating actually this is um, not a more technical job ies job is not a more technical job it's a blend of both it's managerial as well as a technical in the engineering service that means you are directly dealing with so many people so when you are dealing with so many people obviously you should be you should be using so much of information technology to avoid you know uh, inconvenience or to bring in the transparency to avoid you know corruption while delivering the services so this is all again based on the current issues and we need to we we should know what are the initiations or what are the new methods always been coming to the system the whole dynamic subject again static can be can be divided into static and the current under the static don't go for elaborate reading as i told you now so as soon as people think about the polity yeah, they try to uh, cover whole lexicon but in a study you just try to learn the brief basic for this current affairs there are so many uh, materials available but uh, you can either go for a vision or insights actually vision or insights you know these uh, current affairs mostly followed by the people who are preparing for the civil services and if you feel this is very very heavy then you can go for any other alternative material and uh, if i come to maths part of course you know this is engineering aptitude reasoning it's a rs agarwal or anything you can follow and engineering mathematics if you compare with the gate mathematics it is at the below level of that you can easily you can easily maintain you know uh, attempt this one also so any standard book will do this part maths also and uh, here comes the static subjects here static subjects so many people are very much confused and, and uh, they spend lot of you know time wasting uh, reading this one so here also you need to go um, in, in a smarter way the first one is uh, uh, this one section d here they mentioned drawing design and the safety whenever they mentioned as a safety we need to know the basic you know um, mm, basic principles what are the safeties and uh, safety related different acts enacted by the government of india and uh, the safety what are the safety protocols that we need to follow in different types of uh, industries that we need to know about the safety and uh, design actually this design part is very much uh, easier because in the design if you look at the problems most of the problems are you know concentrated on knowing about the stress and uh, strains if it is a mechanical related or civil related and uh, um, if it is electrical they asked about the resistors and uh, the change of resistance at, with the change change of temperature the design part and also in the drawing part they asked very very basic engineering subjects okay so no need to dig into very deep into these subjects and if you come to quality practice in production and maintenance this again any standard book available in the market market that that really deals with the you know uh, quality part of the industrial management and industrial engineering actually uh, for other branches it may be new for mechanical people this this will really comes handy because in a mechanical we already have a industrial engineering and a production engineering and industrial management 
so in that we have you know quality control total quality control methods and um, all those you know c curves everything we already have so no need to again look into some new textbooks so whatever you already read in the industrial engineering you again you know refer here and the project management of course any standard book and uh, this project management again cover the simple aspects like um, uh, you know before starting any project what are the aspects that you need to follow and um, even in the project management we generally would be leading the project you know ies officers most of the time so as a leader how you manage to lead the you know a project in a different uh, you know, in unfavorable conditions and how you motivate your subordinates all these type of issues will be covered under this project management and the next one is material science actually material science you know, this again he asks very basic questions because the gen gs paper is common for all the streams since this material science is you know specialized subject for mechanical and as well as civil engineering but whereas for the electrical and electronics this is not a specialized so subject so the, the next one is ethics and values actually this ethics and values you know uh, some 3 4 years ago has been introduced in civil services and um, from then onwards and there are so many recommendations to include the ethics in the engineering service also and finally after the new pattern came into picture they included ethics and values and here again this is not at the civil level and um, last time they are, they are asked only five to six questions from the ethics so and if you look into those ethics these are all basic definitions so whatever they asked in the last year these are all basic definitions so you can again read whatever you uh, know there in the um, market you know standard book how they ask in ethics and values is half of the question would be from the theory part and half of the from the application part and uh, in the application part they give some different you know sort of case and they will ask your opinion either your opinion or either your action how you respond to that particular case so for example if you are a recruiting officer and one of your relatives applied for the job and uh, there comes the concept of conflict of interest and uh, how you act in that uh, uh, situation these type of questions are you know uh, based on the our common sense and uh, you can choose very easily there also so what i'm trying to say is these ethics and values even though it's a new subject no need to you know dig very much into that but you can read in um, briefly so if you read in this you know smart manner definitely you can get 150 to 160 marks minimum 150 to 160 marks and if you get 150 to 160 marks it really really you know show a lot of difference in our uh, either you know qualifying for prelims or for securing a good rank in the ies